So what we've learned since 2008 is that the world has changed in a, and it isn't going back. And so leaders are going to be incredibly challenged to navigate. And that's really, I think, one of the key skill sets that we're going to be looking for from leaders that fill the top job, which, by the way, are becoming increasingly difficult to find because they have to be able to navigate through risk, uncertainty, and opportunity, and be able to sift through very difficult situations and see very quickly to, to what needs to be done. In order to do that well, they're going to have to be more collaborative as parts of leadership teams than ever before. They're also going to have to be able to be collaborative outside of their organization. In very complex times, you're going to have to look for more uh, paths of information coming into you in order to make decisions with the best information possible. You also need to be able to collaborate uh, across an entire ecosystem of players like all of, the, all of the players that are involved in making your business successful. For instance, we all think about the role that government has in providing you with um, socioeconomic stability in terms of doing business, tax incentives, um, IP protection, infrastructure, etc. But if you thought about the role of government in ensuring that, having a role in ensuring that sustainable pipelines of talent are available to you, have you thought about the leaders in education with whom you're going to have to forge connections because you're going to have to establish hubs of innovation throughout your entire footprint. And you're going to need to be close to the people that are driving that kind of innovation, which means you'll have to be close to the best and brightest talent in the world and the best and brightest university footprints that you possibly can be. Have you thought about the kind of uh, engagement that you have within your employee base and the kind of brand that you have with employers and consumers and how you're going to manage that. So managing and navigating these streams of complexity and being able to establish the kinds of lines of collaboration you need in order to make the best possible decisions as opposed to unilateral decisions is going to be increasingly important. One of the key attributes that leaders have to cultivate in addition to navigation and collaboration is really understanding the role that talent plays inside of their organization. Let's face it, we've taken most of the cost out that we can. Certainly, uh, organizations continue to look for operational efficiencies. They have to drive productivity. However, a corner is being turned as organizations realize they have to look within and understand what role people have in their business strategy. And certainly most missions that I have seen talk about people at some level. But what I'm talking about here is understanding how you look at people through the lens of workforce strategy with the same level of rigor that you apply to your business strategy. So again, understanding how you're going to bring the best out of your most valued resource in a very systemic and planful way in line with your business strategy. That's going to require a level of awareness that has been starting to emerge over the last few years, but it's really hit this critical level. We're starting to see it play out in headlines as, as companies are starting to understand what is the risk of not having access to the talent we need? What is the risk of a more competitive talent marketplace to me being able to keep the talent that I have? And what do I need to do? Because I understand that that's my differentiator when it comes to innovation, when it comes to maintaining the kind of domain knowledge that we have to have to be competitive and satisfy our customers. And that's a very complex algorithm-like strategy. You have to keep track of talent sources. You have to track you know, how work is structured and distributed in the most optimal way to match your business strategy. And you have to think about how are people rewarded and incented to stay uh, with the same kind of discipline that you put into looking at um, capital. You have to put that rigor into looking at human capital. And that is just good common sense as we are moving through the 21st century. 
but it is a discipline that some leaders are really only starting to understand not just the complexities but importance of and they're going to have to get up to speed very very quickly before their business is at risk.